Greetings! Ready to step into the tiger's den, as it were? Uh, let's do Good. it! Good! Alright, let me just get you up to speed on the game plan. I've been going over their files, and I think the trick is going to be a classic prisoner's dilemma situation. We'll put them apart, interrogate them separately, then cross-check info to poke holes in their stories. Our best bet is to start with Penn. All brawn, no brains. When we go after Miguel, we're going to need more ammunition. Facts, evidence, all that. Penn might give us something we can work with. Speaking of which, what are we working with already? There's Mason's confession, those burnt letters, all the pictures we took, and Miguel's self-incrimination during the confrontation. And through it all, let's uh, keep our cards close to our chest. Try not to let them know what we're really after. Keep them guessing and all that. All right, ready? Ready. Skinny! Surprising to see you here. Then again, you are the do-it-all around here. Ah, oh, and you brought the fry cook. Splendid, so my complaints about the food have been heard. I don't want you to know that she's more than a fry cook, so I'm asking questions for the Civil Corps. I see. That's right, you're part of the Civil Corps now. I keep on forgetting. I'm sure you have many questions. <laughs> No omelets today, I'm afraid. I'll just be here writing down your conversation. I have been chosen for my pencil speed, forged in the fires of taking lots of orders. Wow, cool. Imagine that being something you can actually pride yourself on. <laughs> All right then, Skinny and company. I am intrigued. Ask away. How long have you been a Duke of Spy? Right, sure, sorry. I, I hate to be unhelpful, but... <laughs> Skinny, is this your first time interrogating someone? It's okay, you can tell me. Say nothing. Well, Skinny, I happen to be a master of interrogation. And since you were always my favorite, I can offer a bit of advice. Normally, the trick to getting someone to talk is through excruciating violence. Of course. But since it's me we're talking about, better go for a bribe. Bribe, huh? All right, I'll bite. What'll it take for you to talk? Rooster wings. Extra crispy. Ten buckets a day, and don't be stingy with that sea cyan sauce. <laughs> you know the one. The red kind with not too many calories, but it's sweet with just a little bit of tang. Utterly perfect for dipping. <laughs> it's the Szechuan sauce. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? You'll betray your comrades for chicken wings? Probably not, but he probably just wants chicken wings. I would sooner betray any empire than betray my own physique. The window for my daily gains is closing. I need protein now. Not this paltry rabbit food you corpsmen attempt to pass off as cuisine. No way, it's a trick. I might expect this from some of the other law enforcement wannabes. But you, Skinny, I thought you of all people might understand the plight of a fellow warrior. Put me back in the slammer. We're done here. Well, last time I think we did do the chicken wings, so I don't think it made a difference. I don't know if we have much to lose on this one. Let's play along for now and see where this goes. All right, chicken man. You'll have your chicken, but you better give us something good. Good, but wait a sec. What evidence is there that I have anything to do with Duvos? Maybe I'm just a regular and extra attractive mercenary. You literally said, like, for Duvos, for the Empire. For the Empire, you said. Well, let's show him. I think Grace's photos. Oh, come on! That could be any ridiculously good-looking, muscular hunk of a man! Uh, who says it's me? We heard you say okay, for the end. I was there, but it's just a picture. Could mean anything. We heard you say for the Empire. Uh, yeah, you heard that, huh? Dang, Skinny. You super stealth snuck into our totally secret sanctuary. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so yeah, just don't forget our deal. 
How about this? You talk and I'll go make your stupid chicken wings right after this. All right, fine. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. But here it is anyway. Miguel totally brainwashed me. Yeah, that's it. He told me uh, <laughs> Duvos rules and stuff and... Uh... I don't think the words Duvos rules came out of Miguel's mouth. Somehow. Pen. I was in a bind. I have multiple obligations. Do you have any idea how expensive the holidays are when you're shopping for 12 separate lovers who oh all goodness. think they're my one and only? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, with Sandrock failing, I had no choice. I needed the money from his scheme. I almost wish I'd married him before this to, see, to be one of his 12 lovers. That would be hilarious. And then I could be like, <gasps> Exclamation mark over my head. He said if I protect him, he'd give me a portion of his dirty money. Now that I think about it, say, do you think he could be some kind of high-level Duvos operative? Certainly seems like it. N not trying to do your job for you or anything, though. <clears throat> yeah, well, anyway, that's all I know. Say, do I get anything for helping in your investigation? A reduced sentence? For pointing out the kingpin and all that? In addition to the previously agreed upon chicken wings? Wow, still trying to get more stuff? You... Hey, we had a deal, didn't we? I scratch your back, you scratch mine? <clears throat> I'm so itchy. He's not lying? I think I get the idea. Cool. So, yeah, like I said, basically innocent. So, how do we wrap this up? I have to sign something or something? Yeah? Uh-uh-uh. First, the chicken. Right. I can get you the first bucket now. So we're off to get buckets of chicken. Right here on the okay. dotted line. Whammy! All right. Looks like we're done here. Do let me know when you're ready for me to rejoin society. Uh, hey, this wasn't all some big scam to get my autograph, right? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh, dear. Guy's more slippery than I would have given him credit for. He's lying about basically everything. Ken is definitely trying to distance himself from any wrongdoing. That's to be expected. Miguel being the brains behind all this checks out to me, but... Mm -mm. He was lying about what Miguel said. It all seems a little too easy. Very unlikely that he's telling us everything. Let's cross-check some of what we talked about with Penn when we talked to Miguel. I'll have the Civil Corps bring him here. Greetings. Have you brought me here for a private sermon? Not exactly. Sleep well? Indeed, I have. For I can call anywhere under the light my home sweet home. As for the rather cramped compartments, well, suffering is said to make the spirit stronger. Hmm. Injured a colleague. Tried to have us all killed. No signs of remorse. Yikes. Hate to ask some questions for the Civil Corps. And I'll be keeping a record of the conversation. Just think of me as a fly on the wall. One uncharacteristically unafraid of spiders. Yes, I have surmised your purpose. <laughs> Very well. Allow me to put the rumors to rest. No, I am not some Duvos agent. I collaborated with them, and that is all. It is no secret that I admire the Duvosian doctrine their boldness and order. But this is no crime. Attempted murder against Logan? Sure. Conspiracy against Sandrock? Guilty as charged. But a spy? No. My actions were my own. Why hide water? There are many ways to skin a cat. Many ways to fell an empire. I chose to do my part in helping Sandrock reach its natural end. To assist in the inevitable takeover. The weaker the Alliance, the less blood will be shed on the battlefield. Truly, 
My intentions were pure. I want to see a united human race. This is what the Light intended me to do. Even though it drove you to commit treason against the very people you swore to look after? I am but a humble servant of the Light. Once upon a time, the Light was almost snuffed out by darkness due to human bickering and division. The effects are still reverberating today. I will never allow that again. Wow. <laughs> are we... done here? Though I'd love to stay, I'm afraid there's no more tale left to tell. Hmm, show him the evidence that we have gathered. Best proof. I genuinely don't think he's... I think Mason's confession on this one. Look familiar? Hmm. Mason hid this somewhere? No matter. Then I'll wish that he gets the penance he seems to have yearned for. Mason mentions you and Yen in the letter, but nothing about Pen. Why might that be? Pan wasn't involved at the time of construction. That should have been... obvious. I hired perhaps the most easily corruptible Commerce Guild leader ever to exist. This is a secret to no one. Uh, Grace is for... Yeah, because he was saying for the Empire, but then that's because he admi admires them? Photos. <laughs> Caught in the act. Seems our days were always numbered. Well done, then. Very well executed. You managed to evade my observant eye and the one of that bumbling so-called knight. Hey, the burnt necklace. What of it? Can you explain what they are? Not so I communicated with Duvos. Isn't this obvious? An associate would come into town and hand deliver the communication. But I haven't communicated with them since the plan was set in motion many years ago. That okay. is not a lie. That can't be right. You sent the telegrams to Duvos about the water tower recently. No. I didn't. I see. If you're trying to fish for more information, there's no point. Since I have nothing to hide. That is also not a lie. Didn't you say there were some Duvos telegrams intercepted and decoded by the Alliance right before the water tower incident? The water in town has been successfully hidden, I think. I'm impressed. You guys are certainly going to the extreme to try to get me to open up. But like I told you, I have nothing to hide. My plan doesn't even involve the water tower. Plus, they knew that we were successful in our plan a long time ago. We think that Penn was involved in the water tower, so I think there's like more than one plot going on at once here. We didn't make this up. So you're saying what? <laughs> Somebody from Duvos sent telegrams that could blow my entire operation. Just what? Unless... <laughs> you really didn't know? Wait, what's going on? It seems like someone from Duvos wanted to sabotage Miguel's plan. Hmm. You know something? No. My Duvos contacts were always upfront with their intentions for the human race. I can't imagine them betraying me or the cause. What about Penn? He's... He's an agent from Duvos here to aid me. Did he do it? Why would he betray our plan? And where would he send telegrams? He doesn't have access to the telegraph in the city hall. It makes no sense. Are there any other traitors involved? Pen, Gan, and I are the only ones currently involved. I would also add, I don't see myself betraying anyone. I'm saving lives. Genuinely believes he's doing a good thing, and that's the sad thing about this. And who is Tiger? I don't know who that is. Oh boy. This means... Miguel doesn't know anything. He really doesn't. We'll need to find the telegraph machine that's still out there. 
If Miguel doesn't know, it means that there might be another Dubos plot out there using the water plan as a diversion. But Penn would know, wouldn't he? He was there to intercept Logan at the water tower right after the telegram pointed out that exact location. In retrospect, it was a trap. Hmm. I still find it hard to believe. What would Duvos or Pen gain from betraying my operation? I still don't understand that, if really. you're the sacrificial lamb... Hmm. I will get to the bottom of this. That'll be all. I find it quite unbelievable that Miguel really thought he was doing the right thing. As long as he can sleep at night, I guess. All right, let's get Pen back in here. See if he changes his tune based on what we know now. Hey there, partner. Long time no see. Yes, yes, you've brought me back for some reason. Had a nice chat with your pal Miguel. Oh, yeah? Uh, what'd he... Uh, what'd he tell you? Seems really nervous. Like, Miguel, I believe everything he said. Especially because Grace said he wasn't lying. This guy, lying through his teeth. Oh, I don't know. How about everything? What? I thought that guy was, like, super devout. Duvos for life, blah, blah, blah. The end is lie and all that. We know about the telegraph station. Right, yeah, okay. No idea what you're talking about. I've got nothing more to say. Time to lawyer up. Absolutely knows what we're talking about. And that you set up a trap for Logan at the water tower with the telegram message. La, la, la. Nope, not hearing this. Plus, you tossed Miguel and his plan under the bus to hide a bigger plan. Whoa, you're still talking, and I still have no idea. What conspiracy is Duvos hiding out there? Ah, uh, I need my lawyer. And, uh, do I still get the chicken wings? Uh, no chicken for you. There has never been a greater <laughs> betrayal in Sand Rock history. <laughs> All right, that's enough from you. Penn is dangerous. I couldn't tell if he's telling the truth or not, and I'm really good at that. We should assume he knows exactly what we're talking about and that there's a bigger conspiracy afoot. Like I said, he's smarter than he's saying. I almost wonder whether he's like totally the one at the head of it, but <sighs> no, because when he was talking to... When he was talking to Miguel, he said that there's a man that's at the top of things. And that is all we know for now. Ugh. I'm not feeling well. Hey, all. Just thought we'd check in. Just cleared all this evidence. You can take a look through it if you like. This stuff was in their possession. Sure. Let's have at it. Let's see if we can find any clues to the whereabouts of the secret telegraph machine. Okay, so investigate the items. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, table. So what we got here. On this lonesome road of coal, no light or common soul, shines an emissary of light, untouched by, of course. A handwritten manuscript with essays entitled Order, Stability, Unity, Tradition. Hmm, not an expert, but none of this stuff is the actual Church of the Light scripture. Oh, wow. So, Miguel is making up his own content? That's bold. He really... Th okay, this is kind of a long shot. What if this stuff of his is actually working? I mean, some of those church folk are, let's say, impressionable. What if he's actually gotten through to some people and, like, brainwashed them? Let's check on Burgess. A fine idea. As the most impressionable of churchgoers, Burgess would be a fine litmus test to see whether or not Miguel's little fanfic has done any permanent damage. Can I look at things on here again? No. So you guys uh, might need to pause it and read those things. I probably will when I go and edit this. But as usual, when we do investigation stuff, it's always too fast for me to read out. It might be just about... just about enough for me to... for me to uh, read by sight, but certainly not enough for me to talk out loud with it. A list of Sandrock residents, what could this be for? Don't know. It's 
All sorts of detailed information about each member of town are documented here. It's a bit unnerving. Anything on the back? Anything on the front? No, no. Okay. Let's get up again? Nope. I'm saying clue two out of three. Okay, let's uh, go to this one then. So this is some handwritten letters from Penn's fans. They seem truly devoted and inspired by him. Some showing a deep affection, I think. I'm just gonna say it. I've always thought it was weird anyone could ever be into Penn. I mean, sure, he's in good shape. But as soon as he opens his mouth, barf. Yeah, that was like some kind of rejection letter from him, apparently. There. Wait a sec. I recognize this handwriting. Written with his left hand. Similar to the burned letters. That's right. They're the same. Oh, Gracious became my best friend. That's wonderful. Yes. No doubt in my mind that Penn wrote these letters, which could mean any number of things. But it confirms that Penn was relaying messages to Miguel from the Duvo side even before he was sent here. Mm-hmm. He may have been the messenger that came in. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this one because I didn't manage to work out the third clue on it. I'm just clicking around everywhere. In every box. Is it because there's something in the, in the middle of there? There's like a letter behind it, the second page. Looking everywhere, trying to work it out. Nothing is happening. Oh, hmm. So Miguel was hoping yeah, to yeah. recruit others in town? As in, turn us to the dark side? Yikes. Well, if this is anything to go on, we're all there with X's except, hey, you got special markings and stuff by your name. Looks like they really wanted to recruit you. I'm jealous. I just got a regular mark. Wait, no, there's a minus next to me and Ryan. They really put me in Ryan tier? They must, you must have really fooled them, because she was trying to. Hmm, yes, let's go with that. I mean, if they knew who I was, they probably wouldn't try to recruit me, but rather try to kill me, which never happened. So I've got that going for me. Okay. Uh, what else have we got here? There's a mirror and a pen. A pen for pen. A high quality steel pen dark with a dark dark with a glossy sheen that make of it smooth. I, see, I, I get like stammery because I'm trying to read it so fast. And I actually end up reading less of it. But it's a finely crafted pen with good workmanship, basically, I believe. And then there's a mirror. All I want for the day of a bright sun is you, guitar tab, singer Luna, lyrics by Nest. With weird things going on with the notes. I can't read music, maybe someone who could tell me more about this. Penn seems to like this song a lot. He even made notes on the side. Why would he care so much about this song? Ugh, I'm so sick of this song. They play it everywhere for a week before the day of the bright sun in Atara. I love Luna, but the B-sides are really where she shines. Penn doesn't really play music, does he? Is he a fan? Uh, kind of a long shot, but maybe someone who plays music could comment on the significance of this. Someone in the Cougar band? Yeah, they could tell you, I bet. Maybe once we've gone through everything here, we could ask him about it. Couldn't hurt. Especially, um, Hugo. Hugo seems to be very good at music. And I'd rather not ask Cooper about it, to be quite honest with you. Oh, and finally the mirror. Uh, been well taken care of. The reflection is crystal clear. Okay. There's a note on the back. Stay humble. Nothing to see here. Paint Except coming ourselves. off. Just been used tens of thousands uh, anyway, of times. Anyway, if you've given me a hundred guesses as to what prized possession Penn would keep on his person at all times, I'd tell you, save your guesses. It's a mirror. Okay. And the dumbbell, finally. 
If I had to say one nice thing about Penn, I guess it'd be that he's very dedicated to his training. I don't think I could lift this, let alone carry it with me it's through the day. It's a 500 kilogram weight. I don't think so. Good call. Don't want to hurt yourself. Never try to lift more than you're comfortable with. That is stellar advice. Okay, we have investigated all the items, I, I think. Let me just double check. Oh, but not the... We've not worked out on the pen. Okay. There's more to do with the pen. Hmm. Nice pen. Still ink. I think everyone who finishes their residency in Medi gets one. Plus a robe and a hat or something. I'm saying that the ink isn't normal ink. I wonder, when did Miguel go astray? They certainly don't teach any Duvo's doctrine in Medi. Or else the Free Cities would have banned the church a long time ago. Hey, well, that's me done. Hmm. Well, we have a few things here we can follow up on. I want to take some time to simulate their whole scheme in my head again, to see if we missed anything. So, can you go around town and talk to Cooper, Ernest, and Burgess? Let me know what you turn up. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm asking Ernest things. I'm guessing I should maybe chose the wrong conversation options or something. Uh, that would have maybe been, uh, could Ernest be Nest or something? But yeah, let's go and do that. There's still stuff going on in here, like... Why is there still stuff happening in here? Like, it's like there's something that should be happening. There should be a cutscene going on or something. But there just isn't. Like, it's very strange. Can I talk to these guys yet? Hey yeah. there! Good news, I'm reformed, that's right. Whatever you guys did think... <laughs> think I did wrong, sorry. Let's start again. Hey there, newbie, good news, I'm reformed, that's right. Whatever you guys think I did, that was wrong. I totally repent and definitely learn my lesson. So yeah, go ahead and pass that one along. See, I'm still in the frame of mind I've got to talk about everything super quickly. Leave me, we have nothing more to discuss. How about the magic mirror? Can I talk to you? No, thanks. Magic mirror's still off. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to talk to anybody yet. I'll keep having a go, though, because as everything progresses, maybe they'll be allowed to talk again. I don't know. I'm going to try. For Jan's sake, I do want him to be BFF. We're so close as well. I'm sure of it. Deputy Captain, hi. Meow. Would you like a gift? Do I have one for you? I don't even know if I do. I do have an opal. Meow. He's adorable. Okay, so. I really. I just got on this horse, seriously, and I just rode it straight into the stable, and now I have to get off again. Okay, well, let's just run up these stairs, because I think whoever is next to be talked to is in the temple, so that means it's probably Burgess. Just at a guess. Chestnut, you're not very good at tight, at tight spaces, are you? No, really not. So let's go see what Birdie Boy has to say. Mm. Birdie Boy just left. How irritating. Where? Oh no, or oh, is it Ernest in the apartment? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay. That might be what it is. Maybe Birdie Boy's down by his oasis. Hey, Ernest. I want to talk Hello to you guys. Hello there. Some ah, do you need my help for something? Oh, yes. One of my earlier works. Who could have known it'd blow up like it did? Oh, but hey, there are some mistakes here in the lyrics. This line. It's not supposed to be watching falling stars with you and listen to the stars shine. It's supposed to be listen to them shine. I would never use the same word like that back to back. Plus, it ruins the meter. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Every line with the word star in it has a mistake. Weird. Did somebody try to bootleg our song? 
Well, hmm. I can fix it for you so at least your copy is right. Let me just... There! Now all the lyrics are right. Where did you get this anyway? Learning music? I uh, saw this. It's an extra pending. Oh, huh. Yes. Kinda cringy, huh? Well, give me a break. I made it up when I was 13. Then it became my official name at the copyright office, so I kind of got stuck with it. Well, this gives me an amusing little anecdote to include in one of my short stories. Thanks for the inspiration. Good luck with the song. Thanks, dude. All right, okay. Off we go to Burgess and Cooper. Now, I was really hoping it would be Hugo, but it's Cooper. Of it's Cooper. Cooper's all the way over there, Burgey Boy's all the way over there, and then there's something going on at the Civil Corps still. So po possibly that's still yellow because I need to go back there after I talk to all these guys. Not really sure. But probably time to get on Chestnut at this point because everybody's miles away. This is why I love my horse so much. My horse is amazing. Tastes just like raisins. Give it a lick. Okay. Out of there. Waving around a piece of paper, I see. Pretty keen. Pretty keen. Please give me a straight answer. Uh, wait a sec. That's no ordinary piece of paper. Why, that's a musical score. All I want for the day of the bright sun is you. That's a classic. You know, and it really only gets more true with time as you realize it's not the gifts that fall from the sky that matter, but the chance to get wrapped up with loved ones. That's the real gift. It just keeps on giving. Well, give it here. There's a gander in the foot. Uh-huh. Hmm. Ah, shucks. Uh, where'd you get this? Uh, picked it up on the road. That about adds up. Clearly, someone tossed this after they saw all the wrong notes. Doesn't excuse the littering, but I can certainly see where they were coming from. You done went and left this here chord half diminished. If you're gonna diminish a chord, diminish it all the way. That's the problem with y'all's generation. And this one here, that's a C flat. And this is supposed to be a B sharp. This is a D, this is a D. This is also a D. There's almost poetry in how bad this is. Lucky for you, I'm only pulling a 15 hour shift today. So. I got time to help out little homies. <laughs> here, let me fix this piece here for you right quick. There. Whew. Dang, that was tougher than I thought. All right, well, there you go then. Get to practicing. Once you got it good, go play with me and Hugo. Well, Just dear. remember, I after E, except after C. Or, nah, that's the other one. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I rule only it works in like 50% of cases, so it's completely useless. Huh? What are you still there for? We got work to do. Oh, right. Okay, I get it. You want to know why I can read music, but I can't read all them regular words and the whatnot. Answer simple. Only seven notes you can find on a score. That's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then it's A again. Alphabet's got 26 of them. Man's got to know his limits. After G in the alphabet, well, that's when it gets fuzzy, man. I think Cooper might have slightly roasted musicians there. <laughs> Be seeing you then. Like I said, come jam with us sometime. I find reading words far easier than reading music. I can do both, but it uh, takes me a lot longer. Because I have quicker recognition of words because I've been doing reading a lot more in my life than I have been doing music reading in my life. Right. Mr. Burgey Boy, I need to know that you have not been brainwashed. Light, order, and the future of mankind? Oh snap, new scripture just dropped! You think it's like a comic book release or something? Eh? Miguel wrote it. Ew. Evil villain fanfic. And yet, my eyes cannot turn away. 
Oh, dang. This is bad. I mean, you know me. I'm always looking on the bright side of things, but yeesh. Never try to rewrite a classic. That's the real lesson in this scripture. Plus, like, uh, the strong must control the weak? Come on. That's super OOC for us. Wow. Thinking back, I guess the clues were all there. He was always kind of getting kind of freestyle with his sermons. I always thought it was kind of cool, actually. Going off script? Wow! Imagine actually doing that. Wait a sec. Have I been brainwashed by the evil Duvos version of our scripture? Has your view on evil changed recently? Well, I don't know. I mean, if anything, I'd say I dislike evil more than I used to. I mean, what with all the evil going on these days. Wait a sec. Rah! Fire and brimstone! Repent, heretics! That sounds kind of miguel to be honest. <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding. Peace and love. Peace and love. And water. Love that H2O! Hmm. Matilda always says that everyone sees different things in the scripture. So all you can do is to look deep inside and listen to your own heart to find the real answers. And my heart says, this stuff is not it. Well, you've given me a lot to think about. Thank you. You're welcome, Burgess. It's all okay. Right. Let's go back. See Grace. I'm hoping you're still at the Civil Corps. Hello. Any result? Hmm, so no one's read that book of Miguel's. And Burgess said he'd never heard any sermons out of it. That's a relief. I thought about it more and more while you were gone. I mean, what if Miguel really started convincing people to see Duvos in a positive light? That would have unimaginable consequences. And the sheet music? <laughs> it's full of mistakes? Hmm, make no mistake. These errors may not yet be erroneous but rather omissions of intention. Can I take a look? Go on then, code breaker. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. I've got it. It's a code, or rather, a key to a cipher. The lyrical mistakes are particularly placed. Left, three, right, five, up, eight, down, seven. If we use this cipher, we can crack any message intended for Pen or Miguel. Hmm. And the musical mistakes? I spot five of them five numbers in your average radio frequency. Doubt that's a coincidence. That music must be the frequency they're operating on. And this frequency is different from what we intercepted before. That means Duvos knew we were listening before and the telegrams they sent us must have been phishing operations to get me and Logan into the open. Dang, we did it. We can put our interrogation on hold. We've got everything we need to find the secret telegraph station right here. We do? We do. We can pretend to be pen. We send encoded messages out on the agreed upon frequency. And if anyone is at the telegraph station, we can triangulate them after they respond. ACI has signal triangulators, but they're huge. There's no way we can ship them here and install them without the enemy knowing exactly what we're doing. I'm going to update the civil court in city hall about this. Could you talk to Chi and ask him if it's possible to make a miniature signal triangulation device? Indeed. If there is, then we're all set. Good thing we looked into the whole sheet music thing, huh? All right, talk soon. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Got relationship with Unsure and Justice, because, yeah, I needed that. Still, still. Something showing up here. I will keep going in. Hey! Psst! Hey, newbie, over here. Hey, it's me, old buddy, Yan. <sighs> Hair seems there's been a little mix up. Oh. See, they messed around and arrested the wrong person, and well, you're a busy newbie. I'm not gonna bog you down with all the details. Could you just. You see these keys over there? Could you bring them to me? I'll give you a promotion. Huh. Can you even hear yourself? Utterly pathetic. 
She lacks has wits to see through any such ruse and the integrity not to be bought by the likes of you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, a worthy opponent. Mm. Are you two half -wits blind? Newbie here couldn't put their shoes on straight without guidance from me, their glorious leader. Now come on, newbie, how's your bestest buddy yam, won't you? Will ya? Good buddy, old pal? Give me the keys. Think of what I've done for you. Mm. Give me the keys! <laughs> no, leave. You were the worst boss ever. <laughs> Can you just admit you don't? Sure, let me just grab them for you, pal. <laughs> Perfect. I always knew you were the best, newbie. Heh. <laughs> you know, if I ever push your buttons, it was just tough love, you know. I wanted to really see you reach your full potential. That's good. You've nearly got them. Just reach your hand out and pick them up. Struggle comically with the keys. Oop. Yep, they're uh, slippery, I guess. But don't worry. You can do it. Just squeeze those hand muscles, really dig in there. Pick up the keys. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go, newbie. You'll make deputy for this. Okay. Huh? What's that look for? Sure, I can make you deputy. Deputy of the Commerce Guild. Of course it exists. I'll explain more just as soon as you get me out of here. Yes, yes, as in newbie, you're carrying those keys like a seasoned pro, I dare say. You know, I was really wrong to ever discount you. I should have known you were middle management material from the very first time I laid eyes on key grabbing mittens like those. Go to the cell door. Do you honestly not understand what is happening here? Shh, I'm trying to get you out of here. Watch and learn. Don't no, listen to the haters, newbie. You're doing great. <laughs> There's no way we're letting him out. So this is quite hilarious. Mm -hmm. Well done. Success is upon us. It's been an arduous journey, newbie, but you've stayed the course. Bully to you, newbie. Bully to you. Now just put the keys in the lock there and turn it slowly. Counterclockwise. Do nothing. Um. Yes, you've got a newbie hair. What What are you waiting for? Do nothing. Uh. We did it. All you have to do is to turn the key and I'm free. Do nothing. Uh. Please. Uh. Please, newbie, I'm begging you. I'll do anything you ask, anything your heart desires. You want to be commissioner? Sure, you got it. Want me to buy that pesky Mian you're always complaining about? Consider I never complained about Mian. What are you on about? I'm a broken man, newbie. I'm here on my knees. Well, not literally. The floor is disgusting. But I'm down on my knees in spirit. Wow, uh, newbie, please. I can't say it here. I've learned my lesson, really. I'll never do whatever it is you're charging me for again. I'm sorry, please. Huh. Yeah. No! Eh? Down you, newbie. Down you to heck. I offer you friendship and you spit in my face. Huh. I curse you, newbie. I curse your family. I curse your ancestors. I curse that stupid mailbox of yours. We all know it's ugly. Um. Wait. You can't leave me in here with these criminals. Look at my supple wrists. They leave me alive in prison. Check under my bed. The loose floorboard. Consider it in advance, all right? Or buddy, or pal. Wow. Shut up. <laughs> Pen just beat him up. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Ow. Oh. Oh, not the spleen. Mm. I must admit, I should stop this, but I don't want to. Turn around and watch. Ah, hey, not there. That's the money maker. Uh, yeah, that was a good one, guys. Yeah, I really learned my lesson. Ah, hmm? whoa, whoa, whoa. What's all this cockanami nonsense flustering about here in this jail cell? Am I gonna have to get the jukebox out again? Ah, you're right, just in the nick of time, Sheriff. This hardened criminal was just about to turn coat and release these other hardened criminals from prison. Luckily, I stopped them. So if you just kindly put them in jail and let me out. Hmm. Am I gonna have to get the jukebox out again? Uh, no, 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 we'll be good. Um, Please don't make us listen to any more of that girl. That same song, again and again, on repeat. Do I have a feeling that, that there's someone that doesn't like All I Want For Christmas Is Super Mario Carrier on the writing team here? <laughs> hmm. That's right, Luna, and as it so happens, I have tracked down her first album where she hasn't really found her voice yet. And the micromanaging from the re record label is glaringly obvious. Ah. We're stopping, okay? Come on, man, chill. Mm. That's more like it. Run along, Sheila. I'll keep an eye on these no good nicks. You just enjoy yourself, you hear? Ah. Hmm. You just wait till Mian finds out how you betrayed me, newbie. She was all my, always my favourite. She'll help me. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, that was hilarious. I loved that so much. That was so good. Ah! Oh. All right, then I need to talk to Chi, apparently. Uh, this is gonna be a long episode, but it's so worth it just for that Yan scene, if nothing else. But we had that and the Fang stuff as well. Oh, it's gonna be so long. So, so long. But it'll be like a 
Chris Day Christmas Eve Eve special. Like, I think. Might have to cut it in half or something. Alright, we'll see. Anyway. A little bit of watering. Oh, that was the wrong one. Lovely. I need to talk to Chi. But I do I have any commissions that I want to do today? Any good ones? Petrified sticks and switchboards. Coffee beans and tea leaves. I can do those while I'm like wandering around asking Chi for things. Water. Right, let's go. And I'm being a bit neglectful of my pets today, but today isn't just an insanely crazy day. And the other thing I want to do is to head up to the clinic and I want to see if Matilda is still in there. And if she's up to talking yet or uh, playing critters or receiving gifts. So I may as well do that while I'm up here talking to Chi because they're right next door to each other. Mm -hmm. Her condition is stable. Huh? Stable? That's good, right? Hmm. Pretty sure it is. Hmm. Yes, she will live. Just needs time. <laughs> Phew. Hey there. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Matilda is okay. <sighs> I can't believe what happened. Hmm. Miguel and Penn tried to dry up sand rock. Whatever happened to conserve water? Not only did they besmirch our town catchphrase, they also did basically everything our religion tells us not to do too. That's a double whammy. Hmm. Miguel said our town is using too many Age of Corruption relics. Hmm. It wasn't just us, it was all of the free cities. It's kind of true though, we have a robot in town. Really? Is Miguel right? He went too far. He made good points, but he also went too far. Yeah! Wow, Virgil became my BFF. I hmm, think you're right. We all know he didn't like some of our practices here, but gotta be a better way to vent your frustrations. I know, right? I don't think he ever once tried giving out a survey. Uh huh. Duvos uses weapons far nastier than anything we could <coughs> or ever would. Wow. Minister, save your strength. Yes. We don't always get it perfect, but the light will guide us to our salvation. Mm -hmm. You must leave her. Yes. Hmm. Of course. Oh. Our minister. Is there anything she wouldn't do for us? Ugh. We shouldn't have riled her up like hmm. that. Yes, but I think I understand now. Hmm? Really? Because I'm still kind of, as we say in the light business, in the dark. Hmm. The light is no more than just destroying... Sorry, the light is more than just destroying dangerous relics. It's a sum of all its parts. We have to be good to each other. We have to always look deep inside ourselves to find the right thing. From what we saw today, I don't believe that could ever be the answer. Wow. Dang. You're kind of sounding like more than just a junior pastor right now. Hmm? Oh, really? You think so? I'm inspired. Oh. Wow. Well, she up. I think it's no secret you inspire me too. You've really been a hero to this town. Hmm. I should do another sermon about you. Hmm? All your surname sermons are about Sheila. Oh, no. You saw right through me. Thank you. Thank you for coming to check on Minister Matilda, Sheila. I'm sure she really appreciated it. Well, I'm sure she'll thank you in person soon, right? Hmm. Right. Thank you again, Sheila, for everything you've done. As our minister often says, may the light always find you. Dambi, come back. I have things for you. Ugh. It's hard at times at the Church of Light right now. We used to be such a big, happy family, or so I thought. Now we're a sad, confused, small family. Thank the light Matilda is pulling through. I really don't know what we'd do without her. Thank you. Working on down B there. So at the moment, um, we have now six BFFs. Seven, actually, because of Burgess. I'm hoping I can still get a chance to get Matilda and Jan up to BFF. Bang. I will still work on. Although I feel like we're at the end of his storyline now. Chi. Phrase. Rocky. X. Jan. Now I'm just reading the names out. Um, Kodori, Morton, Crystal are really close to being good friends, I think, at this point. As is Cooper and Jensen. Like, they're all just right up there. Right up there. Just a few points. And they'll be good friends. 
And then we won't have many people left in this category. It'll be people like... Well, Ernest, a few more meat and mushrooms and he'll be great. And then it'll be people like Venti, Pablo and Ryan. And the kids. And the animals. And the magic mirror. So, yeah. We're not doing too bad. I'm hoping the magic mirror will get some storyline. That'd be amazing. Hmm. Right, over to Chi now. I always, why do I always stop by the wrong buildings? I'm terrible. Good job I'm not like a bus driver or something, right? I stop at all the wrong stops. I'd be like, just get off here, it's easier. Ah, <laughs> greetings. Recovering well after the debacle over in Town Square, I hope? Yes, yes, I've heard all about it. I like to keep myself informed on cataclysmic events occurring in our city state. It is always good to be where the bullets are not. In any case, you handled yourself spectacularly, so I have heard. Truly impressive. Hmm? A miniaturized triangulation device. And the reason you need to do so is... It's a secret? Mm-hmm. Fascinating. So, there is more to this water-thieving tale after all. Well, if you were sworn to secrecy, don't compromise your integrity by telling me. I will find out on my own, anyway. Ah, if you hadn't guessed by my less than astonished reaction to your request, Yes, I can help you. The technology already exists. In fact, my grandpa made something similar to locate underwater relics a long time ago. Allow me to explain. Okay. Uh, um, of course, we could simply run a check on all frequencies being broadcast anywhere nearby, seek out the one in question, then build a highly directional large antenna that would lead us straight to the source. However, this depends on signals being sent out regularly, which I feel I can fairly assume is not the case, being that this is a secret telegraph station. Therefore, we will need three highly directional large antennae. Aha! Triangulation, right? Indeed! Showing understanding of a concept outside of your area of expertise. I'm impressed. Now, Thank you. for this next part, pay attention. Try not to be obtuse. That was a bit of triangulation humour there for you. You see, oh, yeah. an obtuse person would not be able to understand a concept as sophisticated as signal triangulation. But it's also an obtuse triangle. You, however, are someone who has never displayed any obtuse characteristics. Therefore, there was no reason for me to offer such a warning. That's the joke. Okay, the more you explain it, the less I get it. Triangulating the signal will allow us to know where the source is within a roughly 0.2 league radius, and all we will need is one outgoing signal to identify it. Oh, you know the frequency they operate on already. I see. Sometimes I feel like you have all the fun. I'm thinking I'm confusing obtuse and isosceles here. There, maybe. I don't think there's such a thing as an obtuse triangle. Well, if you know the frequency, we'll just need to track an outgoing signal sometime after we have built and installed the three antennae. Setting up three traces outside of the possible area where the station might be, Registering the direction that the signal comes from at each of our locations will allow us to draw three lines on a map that should all intersect directly on top of our secret telegraph station. Bravo! Rather elementary. Nothing you're unfamiliar with. I just thought it might be worthwhile to regale you with a world-famous directed cheese thoroughly digestible scientific explanation. In case you need to explain it to someone, uh, obtuse. Very well. Very well. That will be 20 data disks. By your look, you're probably wondering why I'm asking for that even during such precarious times. Well, I'm stuck with this overly bureaucratic mechanic handed down by the higher up, so I'm sorry. Thank you. I will send you the diagram for the triangulator as soon as they are finished. Best of luck. Okay, well, let's have a look at my research at the moment. How's that doing? Four days on the tailoring bench, then we've just got the jewellery thing to do, and then we are done with re no, and the forging machine, sorry, and then we are done with research. We've got 57 data disks. Uh, that should be enough to do those two. They were about 20 each, I think. So then we can use data disks for things like relics. So I've got a load of relics that are in bits at the moment, and it'd be handy to put them together and stick them in the museum. Especially the ones that are large, because there are just not enough medium slots in that museum at all. But I'll just choose the ones that I think look nicest, probably. Okay, then. I really do feel now, then, that... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, do I just... Do I just go to bed? Because so much stuff has happened today, and I am just, like... 
feeling a little bit like, whoa. I think I'll hand in that final commission for the day. Maybe I'll finish up the day and then maybe I will um, split this one into two, I think. It's going to have to, I think, because it's going to be so long. Where am I handing this into? There's Grace back here. Is that what it is? No. Where's it? Where's it going to? Oh, upstairs, maybe? Is it upstairs? Oh, yeah. Vivi's up here for some reason with Trudy. The pup is finally back in the pack. What a pleasant turn of events. Logan being good all along, and the whooping I'd planned on giving him has been reduced from severe to mild. Good news all around. Thank you. You are welcome, Vivi. Okay. So that's all of my... All of my commissions handed in for the day. And let's just see how much of the stuff I've managed to do for this glazing machine as well. Um... Doesn't look like I've done anything for it. The granite slabs are still not done. Are the granite bricks even done? Oh no, granite slabs are done, sorry. I just couldn't see them for some reason. There we are, not handing that in today. No way, no way, too much, too much has gone on today for that. So I'm just gonna do things like pet my animals, make sure they've had some food, which they don't have at the moment, so pop some in. Uh, wish I had potatoes. Do not have a lot of chestnuts. Gonna feed you those. I know you don't particularly like them, but they are food. <laughs> and they're food I have lots of. Luckily, these guys really like them, which is why I filled the trough with it. That's all done. Gonna have a quick look at the commission board and see if there's any more commissions I want to take or can take today. Did I take four out of four? I took two out of four so far. So I feel like just to get some money, maybe, I'll just take the petrified wooden stick ones. And if I have to go into the desert and get some more petrified wood there tomorrow, then that's what I have to do. Which will actually be what I have to do. <laughs> so I think I'm actually gonna call it there. I'm gonna head to bed. It's a monster episode. I'm gonna try and edit and work out what I want to do with it and uh, how how we're gonna split it up. So probably over today. Um, this will be going out over one day. So it's gonna be going out on the 23rd of December. So this one and what I think is gonna be the previous one. I'm gonna chop in into two parts and we're gonna have them all across one day at probably three GMT and 10 GMT. So. I'm gonna go to sleep and I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more then please subscribe I'll let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>